Ah, uh, well, hello, and welcome back to Caves of Cud. I am still going to be replaying the same unstable genome character that I played last time. That's most likely the only character type I'll be playing in this entire little series here. Um, some of you expressed concern over the mutations list right there, saying that it only had one unstable genome. I can assure you that it has four. We're just going to let the game pick a default name for us. And what is our name? Surely there's a screen somewhere that I can check this. Do I not even know my own name? Is that possible? I'm a mutated human water vine farmer, of course. Isn't there a way... I have to figure this out now. I have to figure out my name. It's... It's, in, it's important to me. Nope. I get. I guess we're gonna remain nameless until I die. Or somebody mentions it in passing. Anyways, over here we've got uh, four unstable genomes. As you can see, they do stack up. And I guess I better get my thief on. If I don't, I will end up regretting it. I'll forever question. So let's just leave that open. I'll forever question what was in these chests. What could have been? And I've been brave enough to crack them open and take what wasn't mine. I would love to take your chest, but I have no desire of getting mobbed and gunned down. Unfortunately, this time I also only got one weird artifact. Um, I'll put the leather armor on. I don't really think I've got anything else. Remove that. That way, whenever we go to the merchant, I don't forget that we actually have it. If he has a fairly cheap, weird artifact for sale, I will be incredibly pleased. Okay. So, we need to go north. And, what do you have for trade? I'm not gonna use arrows. I don't like arrows at all. I barely like the damn rifle that you can find, let alone plinking wooden arrows off of things. Only 36 vine wafers, the token, of course, I'm gonna put up. I cannot remember what scrap is used for, but I'm gonna save it. Yeah, and a weird artifact for 306 drams, or 81. Fairly certain a small muddy tube counts as, a weird, as an artifact for the quest. Last Iron Skin Suit. I don't get what the big deal is. It's expensive, but that's it. An Ascari Banner, plus 200 reputation with the Ascari Tribe. Don't even know who they are. Friend or foe. So have to be determined. And a maintenance security card. A paper thin access card, which will open some doors in the depths of cut. Would love to be able to afford that, but that's a fucking pipe dream. By the time I can afford it, it'll probably be gone. Let's also... Uh, 1d8. I don't think a longsword is two-handed. Could be. Hope it's not, or I'm wasting some money there. Which is uh, how I love and prefer to start off my characters with just pissing away money. 
boom rose arrows. Reds and oranges swirl in the bulbous arrowhead. Ignition is a notch away. So those must be the exploding arrowheads that I heard about. Maybe they just start fires? I'm not entirely sure. Probably wouldn't hurt to have them. Maybe they could make a nice light source. If I find a cheap bow somewhere. Uh, I think I'm done here. I'll take 26 drams of water. As I tell myself every single time. It's not gonna matter anyways for very much longer. A torch on? Okay, good. I can't have both of those you put. Uh, I was slightly worried. Hang on. I knew I was forgetting something. Lead slugs. There we go. Should probably buy all the other ammo just in case. Uh, let's see. Buying my hotkeys where I can memorize them, and let's just make our fucking way straight north to here. So we can get our easy experience. That is a lot of animals. Baboon. Dozens of them. A goat. And a hulking baboon. Easy and hostile. <sighs> I reload my rifle. And fire the opening shot. It goes wide. The second one, however, blows the damn dirty ape's head clean off. And that one. Thankfully, they're not very good at throwing. I don't think I did that right. Cannot actually tell. Oh, they're throwing small boulders. Thought they might have been throwing seeds on me. And there is a lot of apes up there now. A lot of those hulking ones. Four of them, at least. Hulking baboons. And their leader... Don't even know how to pronounce his name. The seven-ringed baboon philanderer. Disliked by swine, hated by roots. Tough, hostile. Mm. I think it's time I kind of just sprint through here. In fact, probably best if I just leave completely and try to shake them. Even though I don't like the look of this any better. A Snapjaw Scavenger. Scavenger. And a pissed off... I'm just gonna say it. A pissed off flock of grizzly bears. If I can just make it to somewhere a little bit more peaceful and get my bearings. Seed spitting plant. It's taking pot shots at me through all the foliage. It's actually a fairly good aim. I guess it speaks with the other plants to aim at shots. Maybe the trees help bounce them towards me. So I think that, um. Let's reload. I think we can agree that doing the suicidal charge to the north there. To whatever that shitty place is, Red Rock is generally a bad idea every time. The entire area is just a death trap, a bloody crock. I'm gonna have to take a couple shots at it. We kill it, get 75 experience points. Slowly hone and refine our skills. We'd had our ass planted way too firmly in Java. I don't even recognize the type of tree that I'm looking for. I mean, these are dog thorn trees, I'm pretty sure. Going straight to my north there. I want to find the star apple tree. Okay, alligator. You're probably gonna actually kill me. I'm a, a horrible aim. I don't think I've hit even once. Okay. 
so we're gonna fight a crocodile. Average hostile. Tory cracked scales look like marked stone. If I absolutely need to, I can sprint out of here. Hits for three damage. It's injured, and we drive our sword through its skull. Leveling up. Six hit points, one mutation point. Unfortunately, none of my ability is unlocked. Did I eat that? Yeah, I did. I needed to kill anyways for some sustenance. If I was paying more attention, I'd know what time it is. I honestly cannot even read the screen over there yet. Hind Sun. I don't know if that means the sun is setting or if that's just the name of a day. Hey, we've made it to the outskirts of Java. I didn't think we would randomly stumble here, I mean... Can I find the town? Yes, we do. We stumbled back in. That was kind of unexpected. Hello? I don't know why all your doors are open. What are you? Sestifus. Sestesifus. Who knows? One star ribboned a night, a ray cat crossed the marshy loam and wandered into Joppa. The watervine farmers, wakened by the joyful cries of a small girl, gathered around to revel at the favorable omen and extolled the generosity of the beetle moon. Since then, Sisyphus has spent his days curled under the shade of brinestalk huts and sauntering over dirt paths. So long as he's approached with care, he welcomes the hands of friends and strangers alike. Hmm. Average neut neutral, base demeanor is docile. We pet Sisyphus, Sisyphus for good luck. He says meow and we start to glow. Okay, interesting. We don't really have anything new to trade. Steel arrows. Maybe the recent bow upgrade would make them youth useful. Can't talk all of a sudden. Um, I'm still not convinced though. Quenched, bloated, I still haven't managed to harvest anything. We're gonna tiptoe our way back up. It's harvest at dawn. Back up to Red Rock here. And the damn dirty apes have not went anywhere. I had, uh, had hoped. I had hoped that maybe they would have vacated. I'm blocked that way. Okay, we're just going to have to start running and cutting our way through these baboons. Maybe. I'm probably going to die here. Yes, I am. Just gonna throw their stones at me and slowly kill me. There is just so many of them everywhere. I can't sprint, by the way. Hmm. Weird artifact. Equip, look, examine, no. Which wood bark? Let's eat it. The warm tingling washes over us. We're now sated and thirsty. That's right, which wood, um, does funny things to you? In fact, it could be doing very bad things to me. I can't tell if I'm fighting or running or stumbling around. I don't know where the fucking north is. There we go. Which wood can get you out of a very tight situation when properly used, but that's well, not. Come here, you monkeys. Go. The baboon swings from a tree branch, trying to ambush me, only to land on my blade. You know what? Hang on. You know, I don't really want the small stones game. I was hoping for a baboon corpse. There we go. Because I'm hungry. A bloody dog thorn tree. This red color made me hope for something else. I'm surrounded by a pack of bloody baboons. 
no doubt he tore one of their own uh, ribbons while trying to get to me earlier. I don't want more Witchwood, please. Don't make me do it, game. We've even painted the Equimax with blood. It came over there to frolic. Specifically to get splashed with the blood. They're dirty, bloody animals. Apparently there's a baboon up there. Okay. We're gonna earn our entrance into Red Rock here. The baboons have gathered over there in a defensive formation. I can take a pot shot at the leader. We fire, the shot goes so far wide left that it almost flies behind my head. Well, there's a freebie. We pick one off. Shots continue to sell far and wide. And another pack comes down there. Okay. Well, we hit one of them. It's possible that they're getting ready to flank me. But I doubt it. I don't think they're that smart. And I don't think I have that much ammo. How much do I have left? Five shots. I really don't want to equip that artifact either unless I know for sure what it is. I don't remember any bad artifacts. Yeah, and those shots were horrible. I don't remember any artifacts that could really screw you over. But I'm sure they're out there. These baboons are going to pummel me to death, by the way. I just want you guys to know. It's injured. Okay, maybe not. I thought they were dangerous. But in my time here in Baboon City, I've honed my monkey dodging abilities. That one runs away screaming, leaving a trail of blood. You damn dirty apes! And I think the leader has shown up. Yes. It's time to hit the turbo and get the hell out of here for a second. They forgot that I had superhuman speed as well. some turns to heal. We chow down on the baboon corpse, and here we go. If I can... Damn it. I was really hoping just to get two of them. He critically hits me for three damage, I think. Taking my breath away. Are you just gonna stay there and throw things at me? Come on, step into my blade range. No? Now it's just me and you, you big purple bastard. He hits me for two damage with his fist as I run into it like an idiot. We tangle blades and monkey limbs flying, flailing. He's getting the upper hand. I grab a piece of witchwood and chew on it and suddenly the whole world goes blank. It's possible that he's dancing on my face with his fist, but I can't tell. Maybe we ended up right back where we started. He's not even injured, hardly. I cannot eat more witchwood. But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna get brain damage. You're supposed to treat the witchwood with reverence. Reverence. Not chow down on it like it's a snack. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't really have any way to combat this thing. It is way more fierce than I am. I don't think I have... I can even find this screen. I only have 74 skill points. So Axe, Harvest, Wayfaring, all those are out. I am using a long blade. It gives us a chance to critical hit. You know what, I might as well learn this. It gives me long blade proficiency. 
was really wanting to hang on to it. Save up a few more of my skill points. Yeah. It's night time now. He sends one of his lackeys after me. He knew that his lackey wouldn't be able to kill me, but he would be able to raise the alarm. Give that coward a way out of here, I guess. I don't know where he went. I'm not going down into Red Rock until I kill this thing. I'm just gonna keep passing some turns. Oh, I'm hungry. There's gotta be some meat around here. If I starve to death, that'll be just. That'll be just fitting. Yeah, there we go. We eat that baboon corpse, put another one in our pocket, and of course, the boss steps up. He lands hit after devastating hit. God, and he's fine. I'm not even hurting him. This, this is horrible. And all I can do really is run away again. Okay. I I did not want to eat that. Anyways, we're done. I'm done trying to fight that thing. I said I was going to kill it, but all I'm going to do is end up getting myself killed. And I'm not ready for that. Or am I? A snapjaw warlord. I'm dead. This is so horrible. Why do I always do these horrible runs? I make horrible decisions. I thought that was just a regular snap job. Okay, we're out. We're only barely being chased. <sighs> Average hostile. It's got a leather cap, iron short sword on. Come on, surely. I can do damage. There we go. We actually drive our sword through his throat. We level up as his soul leaves his body. And we can get confusion, flaming hands, or burrowing claws. I think I'm going to get flaming hands, of course. Don't know what confusion is. Burrowing claws, I think, lets you dig through rock walls, which could be useful in some parts of the game, but I will probably not make it to those parts. Especially if I don't take flaming hands. So that's what we've got. Level 3. 74 skill points, 1 mutation point, 1 attribute point. Okay. Flaming hands. Hope I don't catch myself on fire. Anyways, we catch it on fire, and this is too busy screaming in pain. We finish it off with our blade. Finally, some loot. I've got to start making some some money, too. The merchant's going to have items coming and going that I will want. I don't really care for these amoebas. I'm also not sure why it started burning. Why did it start burning? I didn't... Did I? Unless I did it... Just out of muscle memory. I did not use flaming hands, so I'm kind of confused. Whatever. Foreskin gloves. Unfortunately, with flaming hands, I cannot wear gloves. I'll get them anyways. Even if it's only half a dram of water. Jam of water. Stupid seed spitting plant. Those things are more dangerous than just about anything else you can encounter. Those and jilted lovers. Stumble into one of those and you won't be getting out of this place alive. Hello, Snapjaw. Drop some black robes that I would wear if they actually provided better protection and a beetle bum. All the robes would do is serve to trip me up in my blade dance down here. 
horned chameleon. I did not expect to find one of them. Okay, fine. We unleash our flaming hand at the horned bastard. A horned chameleon corpse weighs 200 pounds? Are you joking me? We eat it. It tastes a bit like kiwi fruit. 200 pounds? I'm bleeding. Am I gonna bleed to death? Game? Trust me when I say this game will kill you by bleeding numerous times. Yeah, if I had a gun, that's a jilted lever on the wall. If I had a gun, I would shoot it. I'm not even gonna bother looting that. About the only. Actually, you know what? What am I doing? I'm stupid. I keep forgetting that I'm. I'm actually a superhero now. I have superpowers. I don't have to just go stab everything. My time in the wastes has unlocked some of my natural latent abilities. Question is... What other abilities are waiting for us? Should I not get brutally murdered by doing something dumb? Like holding down the movement key. Number, probably number one cause of death in this game. Holding down the movement key and thinking you're being clever. Number two might be going down spider web infested hallways. Oh, look at this. A jilted lever got me. It's the fucking end of my days. I just wanted to see down there. I wasn't actually going to break through all of those spider webs. No. It is tempting, though. Don't get me wrong. To just run down them with your arms outstretched. Reckless abandon. Waiting to be snatched up by a jilted lover. Yes, get caught in a spider web and a jilted lover. See what happens. Time stops and you die. Down we go. <sighs> I hate those terror roots. That's what that is. A dread root. Down here in the darkness, the sound it unleashes is enough to make any man just stop in fear. A short bow. Hmm. Clip it automatically. Now, my question is... Equip manual, um... If I just equip auto... Can I throw arrows? That would be kind of cool. Another short bow, a copper nugget. Copper nuggets are pretty much just good for trading. They're a flat 10 drams. I'm fairly certain no matter where you go. So it can be worth trading things for. Really? I wonder if I can get two for one here. Probably not. Other ways, they won't die. Unless the other one just ran off screaming and howling into the darkness. I don't know. I didn't see a corpse, and a snapjaw warrior steps out of the shadows and tries to impale me. We get into a vicious, drawn out sword battle. And I'd be lying if I said he wasn't a good, worthy opponent. He actually put up a better fight than most do. Hmm. Starting to think. I've got 85 pounds to go. You guys know I have an inventory problem. What is this? Campfire remains. I wonder... No. I was going to say, if I could relight that campfire, provide a light source, that would be pretty awesome. Pile of debris. Or if I could catch that on fire. Basically, I just want to catch more things on fire. Why did it get 
so quiet down here. I haven't had anything but that jilted lover jump out at me for a while. It's unnerving. Possible that the snap jaws were afraid to come down this far? There's a giant centipede. And we're level 4. 6 hit points, 74 skill points, 1 mutation point. Probably would be worth using my mutation points on flaming hands. Next level takes a 2d6 out of damage instead of 1d6 which is pretty damn powerful, doubling the damage it can possibly do. Which I don't know if I need to tell you is nice. However, if I save up my mutation points, points next level I can get another random mutation. I think I'm going to go for the steady skill gain right here. I can level this up to 3d6. Yes, I think I will. Unfortunately, I may not advance it anymore. Okay. This skill is going to be just melting things at this point. If I can find anything worthy of... Here. You're definitely not. Take 6 damage from our flames. It dies. Pretty sure we can do more than six damage. I don't need stairs up. Hmm. No, I definitely do not want to target myself. That was just all types of fucked up. You want to emulate yourself. Just fire your hands at your feet. Oh boy, what is going on here? A cannibal. A snapjaw hunter. A snapjaw hunter. Giant centipedes. I don't even have flaming hands ready. Does anybody wish to come after me? Apparently they wished to fight after each other or whatever. Fight each other. I step down into the, into the aftermath of the battle, which I'm not really going to complain about. Even though I would have liked some experience. Hey, it's a honey skunk. I hate these pieces of shit. Um, let's take out that thing. There's another snap jaw over there. And it's a snap jaw archer. Are you almost dead yet? Wounded, average, hostile. We swing our sword at it. Decapitating him. Scalping him in the process. We'll take his skull. Um, staffs, I think, can be a decent amount of money. And what are you? Bloody giant centipede. Hack at it. Let's go for the skunk. Our flame blasts through the centipede, catching the skunk on fire. A snapjaw comes running out of the poisonous cloud, and wow, that's a lot of things. Snapjaw brute. Four turns, huh? I don't know if I have four turns, game. Perfect health. The other snap jaw is back there gagging in the honey skunk ass fumes. That's all it is, folks. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. How many of you are coming out of there? Take a clown car back there. A snap jaw shotgunner. I do not like this at all. My health is down to four. Um, I'm down to my last witchwood bark. We eat it. And that doesn't make things any better, of course. We dance around with shotgun pellets just tickling our skin. If this room could stop being messed up just long enough for me to get my bearings, you are dead. Standing on the stairs victoriously. At least over that shotgunner. That guy is absolutely scary. Ooh. Sandals of the Riverwives. 
plus five to movement speed. A pearl fastens these well-crafted sandals. The natives believe they belong to the nymphs who inhabit the river beneath Red Rock. Okay. Let's go ahead and automatically equip that. Get you, get you. Might as well get the worthless arrows. That I'm probably never going to use. Hey, a weird artifact. There we go. One more quest down. I am almost overweight. I've got to be reaching the end of this quest line. Really? I'm not even going to bother using my flaming hands on you, even though I wish you would quit, because I don't like the damage you're doing. I don't like centipedes either. Centipedes, if they get to you, can tear you up. I think they even have poison. A lacquered, electrified hand axe. Really? It's got a small trinket, which is an energy cell in this case. The item cannot rust. When powered, this weapon deals an additional one electrical damage. Interesting. That should fetch a pretty good price on the market. Back, hang on. I'm gonna pass some turns. Really? Get out of here. Trying to heal up before I go get blasted apart. Where are you going, you sneaky bastard? The Snapjaw Hunter thought that he could sneak past me. Spiked gauntlets. I guess our little standoff we had made him overconfident. That I wasn't coming to murder him, and then when he saw me, he knew his time was up. Get out of here, Dreadroot. Please no. We blast the jilted lover, its vines dry up, and fall to the ground. See? That centipede? It did a little bit of damage, but more than that, it put up a fight. Let's auto equip that ring mail because that is good. And the longer you fight with something, the more likely it is that it's gonna critically hit you. Oh damn, I'm way overweight. Okay. Furs, 20 pounds. I have to keep the baboon corpse, of course. I don't know what's worth more. It doesn't really matter. I mean, well, let's drop those. What the hell are you? A prickler? Easy? Hostile? I don't like plants that hang on walls and look at me weird. Definitely don't like seed spitting plants either. Those things will destroy your face, your body, and everything. Okay. Surely there's not another floor. I have to go down. Seed spitting bastard? And the snap jaws just come out. I swing my sword from side to side, decapitating them one by one, only to be grabbed by a jilted lover and pulled down almost to death, because I was not paying attention again. They, they blend into walls, you can't blame me. I mean, it's kind of what they do, they're stealthy ninjas. Where is this zone being built at? This, I'm getting just torn apart by two freaking hunters. Two brothers. We obliterate one of them. And launching ourselves from a flaming pile of snapjaw blood, we drive our sword down into his throat, pinning him into the wall. And we level up. Good news from that. So let's see. Cryokinesis, domination, or confusion. Cryokinesis. I cannot remember what that one does either. Freeze, ice time, freezing something, freezing movement. I don't know, freezing something, obviously. Domination means we take control of the, the NPC, which could be fun. It could also be very bad. Confusion it just makes things attack each other, which could be incredibly useful on big groups of monsters. 
but I normally don't take on big groups of monsters. I run away and pick them off one by one. So let's take Cryokinesis. We've gained the ability Chill. Level 5. Okay. So, still cannot level that up. Cryokinesis. Chills affected area over 3 rounds. It cools down over 50 rounds, though. Um, does pretty good damage. 4d2 divided by 2, that kind of sucks. This mutation's effective level is increased by 2. Okay. I think I'm going to have to level this up. Mm, or not, I can't. Okay, so we're not doing anything with it. However, I do have 246 skill points now. And I'm not entirely sure why I wouldn't put them into long blades. Lunge! When attacking with a long blade, occasionally you lunge forward and strike your opponent with additional penetrating force. Allows use of the Scorpiox stance. Or swipe. When attacking with a long blade, occasionally you sweep your blade about yourself, striking all adjacent enemies. Allows use of the windmill stance. Both would be very useful. However, I do love tinkering. You may disassemble scraps. Whenever you step over garbage, you... it's so tempting. Problem is, I don't have nearly enough intelligence to take use of this tree and branch in the long run. Um, receive no penalty. To damage whatever when we sprint. Dodge value, maybe. To charge forward two or three squares before my melee attack at plus one penetration. What about self discipline? Don't think I have enough willpower to take use of that either. Uh, shake it off each round you're dazed or stunned no 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 first aid can stop bleeding which would be useful again I have died to bleeding before butchery you occasionally butcher corpses successfully for food however I do have to take this I absolutely have to take butchery um, food does become a problem. Do not fool yourself into thinking that it won't be. You can't hunt for everything. Um, wayfaring, skilled at wilderness survival, doubles your chance to regain your bearings when you're lost, doubles the chance of interesting encounters, and reduces the chance of getting lost. See, I would like some of these just to see what they're like. However, hmm. put an awful lot of thought into this, it seems like. Let's go ahead and go with Lunge. It's not the big groups of enemies I have problems with, it's the solo one-on-one -on -one fights where I, I actually have to stand my own against something tough. Um, I don't do enough damage or hit often enough. Let's see, Sprint, Flaming Hands, Chill, Scorpiog, Long Blade Stance. We are in that stance now. We pin the spider against the wall and chop its legs off. However, I would like to heal. Oh, what are you again? I don't know. A flaming? Oh, it's the cannibal. Good. Send the cannibals after me. An Ascari Sunbell. If I ever find out who the Ascari are, I can only hold one more pound. Really? I haven't even used my chill effect yet. We backhand the snap jaw. Putting it in its true position. There we 
go. Can I do a double whammy there? Yes, we can. So chill's gonna be pretty useful, again, for like a group of enemies. The thing I specifically said I don't really need help with. On a single target that's charging right at me, I can't exactly use it. Oh, I hate you. See, now on an entrance like that, where everything's getting gummed up, trying to get to me, Chill would be incredibly useful too. Fuck you, centipede. How dare you put up a fight like that? Centipedes get scary. You'll think you're winning because, hey, it's a centipede. So you'll just keep mashing the combat button. But before you know it, you're almost dead. got to be the last level. What do we have here? A lead slug. Not necessarily evidence of anything, but it is kind of weird that it's here. A glow white cultist of Agalot. Okay. It's time to chill. Kill both of them. Glow white corpse. I don't think that's what I need. Again, it's weird that they're here though. A steel arrow. You know what? No, I, I gotta be careful there. There's nothing to take. Um, I could have... A young ivory pops up from the ground and impales me, of course. Those are the things that'll kill you in dungeons. Um, I could have used my flame to hit that water and... Cause a bunch of steam, but I'm actually not sure where I would be safe. Versus where the steam would still just straight up burn me alive. Because I have died to that before and I'd rather not do it again. What if you jilted lovers are down here? Another one? You got grabbed by the jilted lover. Ten hit points ripped off your face. I'm hungry. I don't have anything to eat. Um... Really? Could you just not? What is this? We have finished it. What's eating the water vine? So, oh, the, that's right, this thing. I hope I don't eat this thing's corpse. Since I'm so hungry. So we've got a critter corpse. How much am I gonna have to drop? Thankfully not much. Let's just drop the studded leather. Spike leather gauntlets might actually be good for something. Not the bark armor. There's no way that's worth very much, right? Okay, I gotta get out of here. And I have to find something to eat on the way out. Something like a giant centipede corpse that seems like a horrible thing to eat, but, but what do I know? Oh. Both of those weigh 30. Are you serious? Okay. Fine. Bronze two-handed sword. 36 pounds. Drop all of them. That'll give me a little bit of leeway. Salty. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot. I should have been checking those pools of water all the way throughout this place because occasionally you can run into just clean and clear pools of water. That's just money on the ground. Money that you want, trust me. Salty water, though. Ain't nobody in the world that wants salt water. Okay. Thankfully I didn't die from hunger. And I still have a delicious giant centipede corpse left. So, are you the one I need to talk to now? Yeah, I found bits of gnawed water vine and slew a white spiderling. Here's its corpse. Take it to the Elder, quick! Show the Elder! Look, look what I found at Red Rock, Elder. Hmm, this is troubling. It's Gershlings, that's right. And there was a glow right. Glow white. Whatever. What are the Gersh? 
Oh, they're ancient demons, as old as cut itself. They embody the essence of the poison that has spread throughout the land. Once they crawled Cud's surface, but a thousand years ago, something drove them deep beneath the earth. Now they roost in the nethers of Cud's vastness, vastestest, and darkestest, cavernsestest, and, um, why were you so troubled before? They've not been sighted for centuries. Discovery will improve, prove invaluable. Yeah, you're all just a bunch of water vine farmers. He's given us some prickly boons. Live and eat, Elder. We're now level six. Gain one to each attribute. We receive Uber Nostrum Injector, Weird Artifact, Salve Injector, Salve Injector, Salve Injector. Okay. So, before I go do anything else, I have no quests at all. Let's go seek trade. Doesn't look like he's got really anything new. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of this stuff. In fact, let's just see how much I can get. The Ascari Sunvel, I think I'll keep. If I ever find out who the Ascari are, I want to have that on me. Witchwood Wreath. Wilted Shawl, plus 10 cold resist. Let's hope I don't need it. Gershling Corpse, really? 490? Must be good meat. Maybe I'll eat that, too. Put all of this up here. Kind of disappointed that the lacquered hand axe is only worth 26. I'm going to keep that for now. Specifically because I, if I can break it down, I plan on it. And if I can take the power cell out and save it for later, I plan on that too. Don't know why I'm carrying around a small stone. Maybe I picked it up as good luck. I don't really need any trade goods. Let's go ahead and buy... like that maintenance security card before it's gone forever, but there's no way I'll have enough. I'd have to trade basically everything I own for it. Hmm. Why don't you sell me the burnt capacitor, the salve injector, and give me 34 drams of water and we'll consider it a, a fair trade. So... There's also another quest here from this man that we can do. It's Argive. And he wants two knickknacks. I've got knickknacks. I don't know which ones I'm going to give him. Oh, I can give him salve injectors. Mm. Mm. You know what? I'm just going to give him two of these. I guess I could take the knickknacks that I have and throw them on the ground. The ones whatever. I don't know what's worth anything and what's not. I'm fine. I'll go get you some wire. But, this is kind of why I wanted to talk to this guy. He's got a bunch of vine wafers. He's also got data discs. I don't remember what those do. Let's see. Creates a stun rod. Creates a poison gas mark one. So, a hologram bracelet. You think this is the real Uma War? It is. I can't do a good Arnold. A recycling suit. I would love to have one of those. Almost never run out of drums. We could venture into the wasteland to the west if we had that. This would also be useful. 12 gauge buckshot. Learn how to create our own ammo. Yeah, I'll pay three drams of water for that. Why not? Anyways, I think I'm going to end the video here. Whenever we come back, we're going to go to the Rust Wells, east of Joppa. See if we can get 200 total feet of wire. Um, we might go exploring. Other than doing that, again, I don't know how much I want to dive into the, the storyline. Because I know it's not completed yet. Not even really close. But uh, I do want to do those first quests just because they're such good experience to level up. We might just go exploring when we come back. I don't know.